Well, hello and thanks for joining me here for another session of Chasing Shadows with me, Dave Tarrant. Will you join me today right down in Surrey, a bit further than I would usually go for a bit of fishing, but uh, I'm down here on the Marsh Court Fishery and I'm going to fish today on the uh, Harris Lake. Well, I can hear a few of you already saying, well, if he's down there, he's after one thing and that's the good old cruisians and you would be right uh, it's the first of June sun shining really feeling like summer today and it can only mean cruisians uh, what am I I think it's my second favorite fish uh, you see me do the video before on the Johnson's Lake where I had those threes and uh, but that lake's closed at the moment and uh, so I've come on the like I say the Marsh Court fishery and you can fish this on day ticket so it's open to anybody you can come down here for the price of a day ticket and catch yourself some nice two pound cruisers and even if you're lucky you might be able to catch yourself some whackers and three pounders so like I say that's open to everybody um, lake's pretty busy today um, it was a match on actually when I got here so uh, uh, just getting a liner now, so I uh, might have to run off. Uh, so, um, yep, so I've fished one swim, wasn't feeling very, uh, well, didn't feel it in that swim, so um, I've come down to another swim now. Uh, an angler was in here before, so I've, I've lightly baited that up with a little bit of my feed. Um, I'm going to fish um, some flat pair rigs. I'll show you how I'm fishing them a bit later. I'm going to fish them tight to the bottom. I'm on the buzzers. Uh, and, um, sit back and relax and have myself a nice day's fishing um, it's not happening a lot there's not a lot really happening around the lake but uh, I'm feeling lucky and I reckon we might be able to bag ourselves a couple of cruisers or even some of those angry old tench right let's see uh, how we get on what I like to do uh, even though you know I'm on size 14s and 12s and very very small hooks I still like to make sure that you know I got a real nice sharp point on those hooks <laughs> see that hook is so small uh, you can hardly see that but I still you know I need to be confident that that hooks gonna do its job when a fish picks that up that's abso absolutely razor sharp now so uh, yeah because it does get blunt there's loads of debris out there and it will eventually wear the point down you don't see many sort of coarse anglers, you see a lot of carp anglers do it. I do it from a barbell angling and I do it for a perch fishing and I make sure you've got a good sharp hook because you don't want to miss an opportunity, do you? Right, I'll quickly show you that rig that I'm using. Pretty straightforward, same on both rods really. So I've uh, got myself about a, just over a foot of lead core. So I like to use a little bit of lead core to stick that, pin that right to the bottom of the lake. I got myself a one ounce flat pair lead, which is uh, free running, as you can see. It's an inline lead uh, and it's free running. And that goes down to a, one of these snap swivels. Uh, all that does, you can, I don't know if you can see that, it's got a little clip there so you can un undo the, your rig there and tie it onto that comb feeder. And then you can sort of disconnect it and disconnect it really quick and easy. And it enables you to pull that through that uh, cone piece of feed if you know what I mean uh, that goes down to a, a size 14 barbless hook because that's one of the rules on this lake it's got to be barbless hooks and I just got myself to cut the casters on it and that's on a hair rig uh, and that's as simple as it gets free running like I say it's got to be free running on here no semi fixed no fixed uh, so that's nice and loose I'm fishing a tight clutch because uh, I am close to those reeds as I said earlier and uh, I'm just topping it off with a little bit of um, sticky bait krill liquid on those just give them a little bit of extra scent on there and the other one uh, you probably see uh, it's very very similar exactly the same same running rig saying uh, just on the end now I've just got a, myself a little bit of plastic corn and, uh, and I'm fishing that on the cone as well so uh, yeah, very simple. It's one of my favourite methods, uh, rod-wise. Uh, I've got myself two super specialist rods there, one pound test curve, very, very, very light. Uh, and I've got myself uh, a bait runner, which is the ST4000 FB. Um, and uh, I think I'm, I th yeah, six pound line, six pound line. Uh, and I'm only fishing close in, so you don't need great big 12 foot rods to whack out, because uh, I'm only fishing pff, well, about a couple of rod legs out. So wind's getting up, uh, sun's gone in, and uh, it's feeling nice and cool now, and uh, feeling like uh, time for a bite, I hope. Uh, I've lost one, and it was a good cruise, so pretty good about that. 
So uh, right, let's uh, see if we can catch one. <laughs> Bit of a run around. But guess what? Not my intended species for today. Uh, not disappointed though. It's a nice big uh, tench. So uh, it's been a bit quiet this afternoon. First bite I've had for about three hours after losing that great big uh, lovely crucian. So uh, we're not going to get the anuka mat ready. Oh. Well, amongst all this debris <laughs> from the leaves of the trees and things which has been causing me a bit of a problem today got ourselves a nice little summer tench and uh, I can clean them up oh, she and there we go there's a nice little reward got a bit of a fat belly on her I think she's uh, she's still in spawn actually so um, I'm not going to hang around with her Beautiful, I love summer tench, don't you? Um, probably about four pound, we'd give her a four pound. Uh, absolutely excellent condition. Went straight for those uh, reeds, as that crucian I lost earlier did. Got a little split in its fin there, but uh, yeah, very welcome. Right, let's hope that's a that's the start of things to come. number two tench and uh, oh, the hooks falling out already which is a good thing about the barbless hooks and uh, there she is oh, probably about three pound I expect another female this one's not this one's not got a spawn in it so uh, yeah once again in excellent condition beautiful Ladies and gentlemen, mission accomplished. We came for a cruisian. We caught ourselves a, a lovely little cruisian. Look at that, there we go. Isn't that absolutely perfection? They don't come much better than that. I'm not sure. It's definitely a pound. Maybe a pound and a half, I expect. Lovely, gorgeous looking cruisian. So, I think the, uh, you're going to hear me buzzer there in the background bleeping away so I'm going to have to quickly get this one back and uh, see if we can catch ourselves some more so uh, wow happy with that mission accomplished pressure's off <laughs> well there we go it's getting on now we're losing light uh, it's getting up for a half past eight now and um, I think I'm going to call it a day I've got quite a bit of a run to go home actually uh, it took me about two hours to get down here and uh, 
it's probably about 60 miles for me actually from where I live to here so it's uh, been well worth it I've had a cracking day here um, got here for about oh, it was about half past two um, set up that first swim didn't really feel it there and uh, moved into this second swim uh, in the day and um, lost one straight away lost a good cruise and I uh, thought it was going to be really good and then it went dead for a few hours but we managed to catch that lovely tench uh, that first one uh, and then we had the other and capped it off by uh, catching that absolutely gorgeous cruise and um, been nice to catch a few more but uh, you know we had a good day's fishing uh, very enjoyable and that's what it's all about I uh, spoke to a few people on the lake it is fishing tough today um, and I've done pretty well apparently so uh, pleased with that so uh, nothing more for me to say really thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the bank soon